everyone. Welcome to Delilah's Downloads, um, where this week we're actually imparting on something new, something different, um, where there will be an everyday, uh, everyday upload or download, if you will, um, for seven days straight, six to seven days straight, a multi-part series focused on faith, obedience, promotion, slash inheritance. Um, so part, we're going to be coming out of the book of Joshua, but we will use other books in support of the message, um, the overall message. Um, the first today's today's topic is actually going to come from the book of Numbers, which those of us who either study Joshua um, or Moses kind of understand the play between Numbers and in and, um, and the book of Joshua. But before we get started, just a word of prayer. Um, Father God, we just come thanking you for all of your uh, salvation, glory, love, patience, redemption, grace, mercy, Father, everything that you provide us. And thank you just for being an almighty God, Father. Thank you for being exactly who you are before you even do anything for us. We praise you for who you are, Father. Holy Spirit, we ask that you stay with us as you always are our great comforter, coming in to give us great standing understanding of the word of God, preparing our hearts and our minds to receive the word of God. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are with me and that you are putting forth every word that will be spoken, that it is a word in line with God's will and God's message, and that you are going forward and have prepared the hearts and minds to receive a rhema word, a word that is alive and that gives revelation to each of us who receive it and hear it. Let us have ears to hear and a heart to receive. Holy Spirit, we thank you for being in the presence, anointing this atmosphere. And Father God, we give you all the glory. And Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your obedience and salvation through you. In these things we pray, amen. Amen. So again, just quickly, multi-part series focused on faith, obedience, redemption. I'm sorry, faith, obedience, um, promotion, and inheritance. So we're really going to go up through pretty much the conqueror of Jericho with Joshua. But in order to really get into Joshua's piece of the puzzle, if you will, we really have to backtrack and see how did Joshua even become involved in bringing the Israelites to the promised land. So today we're going to start um, actually in Numbers 1442. Uh, but what's going on, because I'm going to go with that one first, but what's going on pretty much here is this is where Moses and the, and the current Israelites are unfortunately told Due to their disobedience and their lack of belief, their lack of faith in God, um, that they would not see the promised land. That they have come this far and they, they basically will have to struggle and, and wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Um, uh, for 40 years and, and, and that they would not enter the promised land, but they're, they're, they're descendants. So he still, God still sees through his promise to the descendants of Abraham that they will see the promised land. Just this generation um, will not. So this is where God has pretty much told them that they won't go forward and that if they move forward without him, um, it wouldn't be good. So numbers, we find ourselves in numbers 1442, where it says, do not go up because the Lord is not with you. You will be defeated by your enemies. You won't be defeated by your enemies. So these guys were like, okay, God, we get it. Right before this, they're like, God, we get it. And we're sorry. You know, we're going to go get the land that you promised us. We're going to get the promotion, the inheritance that you promised us. But God has warned them, don't go forward. So the message today is really about um, not moving forward um, when you fall out of the grace and favor with God. So, you know, some we have to listen to the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes... Um, man, it be it your leaders, your peers, etc., will try to call you into a place, call you into um, a promotion, or call you into a change that they see over your life. But we, this is where it's really important that we remain in, in connection and fellowship and relationship with God and the Holy Spirit, so we can hear directly from God on. I know this person has this vision for me, Father, and is calling me to this place. But is this a place that you have prepared for me? Is this a place that you have prepared for me? And if you hear God clearly tell you, the Holy Spirit clearly tell you, no, this is not of me. This is not the move that we're supposed to make right now. Then you do not want to move. You do not want to move. 
if God has not called you to this elevation, if you've not heard from God um, and you move anyway, you'll be faced with different challenges. I mean, you'll be faced with challenges, obstacles. There'll be strong opponents that come against you um, that you that you really don't want to you don't want to encounter because you're outside of God's will. When you move and God tells you not to move. Don't show up in that place and then all of a sudden start praying to God on Lord help me, right? Even though I heard you clearly say not to come here. Now you're looking for God to come rescue you. Um, if God delivers a message to you not to move, then don't. Um, similar to the Israelites, if we move and God tells us not to move, it will cost us something. And for the Israelites, it cost them their lives. So making sure, the message here is making sure that we are in tune with God and the Holy Spirit and when we hear from God, although that thing sounds so great, or you're going to be paid more money, or you get to move here, or you're going to have this kind of title. If you hear from the Holy Spirit, this is not the move to make. Don't move. You want to make sure, we want to make sure that when we move into promotion and inheritance, that it is governed by the will of God, that is anointed with the grace of God, and that going before us are the mercies of God. So stand still, fam. Stand still. If it is not of God, it is not for you. It is not for you, and it will cost you something. In numbers, it cost the Israelites their life. They went forward to take the land that God told them that they would no longer have, and it cost them their lives. So make sure, family, that we are t tied to the hip with God and the Holy Spirit, that we're listening, and we're not moving forward when God says don't move forward. Our message today, Romans 14, I'm sorry, Numbers 1442, if you were to move forward, do not go up because the Lord is not with you. Do not go up because the Lord is not with you um, is our message today. And again, there will be a message every day pretty much tying into faith, obedience, promotion as we see it through Joshua and the Israelites moving up to the wall of Jericho. So that's what I have to share with you guys for today, fam. Um, as always, thanks so much for spending this time. And I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.